Welcome to the Rushton Lakes uh, Public Inquiry. My name is uh, Harold Stevens. I'm an inspector appointed by the Secretary of State to hear the evidence and to uh, prepare a report for the Secretary of State in connection with the public inquiry. Um, very welcome to this public meeting. Just um, ask the panel to introduce themselves. We've got uh, representatives from the applicants from the council and also from uh, the rule six party. So I'll ask them just to introduce themselves so you know who they are. Good evening, my name is James Wilson, uh, representing the council, Commissioner Finance Council. Roy Pinnock, representing LXB. I'm Chris Katkowski, QC, representing LXB. I'm Hugh Flanagan, representing the consortium of local authorities, which is um, Corby, Kettering and Northampton Borough Council. <laughs> Pantomime villain. I'm Gareth Jones from Northampton Borough Council. Because my colleagues a bit removed, uh, Theresa Boyd from Northampton Borough Council. And the final villain, Matthew Allison from Legal and General. Thank you. Thank you. We um, we have a, set, a list of 28 speakers um, to get through tonight, and um, I think if we work it out, we have to be out of the building by 10:30. So that allows roughly about just over three minutes each. So I'll be grateful if you would um, try and stick to that guideline, please. Otherwise, we'll not hear from everyone. Uh, just one word of caution before we begin. Um, this is a public inquiry, and I would ask that everyone gives respect to all who speak. Um, it may be that there is someone who expresses a view which is different to the view that you hold very strongly. But I would ask that you give them respect uh, and, and listen to their views. Um, and I must insist that there should be no clapping, cheering or shouting out, please. Um, so please bear that in mind. All right, are there any other ma any matters before we begin? Has anyone got a, any problem or issue they wish to raise before we proceed to a problem? Yes, Will there be a gong or something to say our three minutes are up? Um, we have someone, Mr. Mr. Wilson is keeping an eye on the three minutes and um, he will give you a shout. Thank you. All right. All right. All right, we'll take um, the first speaker. Um, I've got Councillor Sarah Peacock. Thank you. I'm Councillor Sarah Peacock, leader of Russian Town Council. The Russian Lake proposal has been discussed with the Town Council for over two years. LXB have actually developed a plan to bring this brownfield site back to life. The proposal has generated much interest because it will offer a garden centre, shops, restaurants, wildlife walks, a visitor centre, lake facilities, and it will open up the countryside to the community. This proposal will promote the council's ethos of healthy living and provide an attractive gateway to the town. Simultaneously, it will enhance and protect the environment. Rushton needs good quality local shops. Without them, the town will gradually turn into a dormitory community with no social cohesion and with increasingly social problems. We already have two areas of ABIs have been instigated. The scheme has never been viewed as being in competition with our high street retailers, but one that will complement and help to move the town forward and thrive. We at the Town Council are very proud of the hard work that has been carried out so far to improve the quality of life for our residents and the instigation of the town partnership some two years ago proves that we are forward thinking and have to accept that high streets are changing nationally. This scheme will tick all the boxes. It will provide a town centre manager who will encourage modern facilities to the lakes and work with the existing town retailers. These new choices will attract new people to the area and we can then sell the old and the new as a tourism destination as we have much more to offer within the town. This development can only be built on this site. We have no other site of this size that could offer the same amenities. Where else are you going to be able to provide a boathouse, the cycle paths and the walking routes through SSIs along with the opportunity to pick up some shopping or go out for an evening meal? The scheme also complements our town centre as it will allow people to walk from the town to Rushton Lakes and further into the Nen Valley. The Greenway route is an East Northamptonshire project which develops a network of walking and cycle routes across the district. The Rushton Lakes is an important part of this jigsaw this scheme includes upgrading routes through the valley to Earthingborough and the piece de resistance is the new bridge over the A45. This will allow a permanent access to the site 
and, al and allow residents to cross safely, something that I and the Town Council requested from day one. We have worked hard with the developers to ensure that this scheme works for the local residents. This includes the reinstatement of the Bailey Bridge to the north of the site, which has fallen into disrepair. The repair of this bridge will allow local people to connect through the further wildlife walks. This has only worked with the support of the developer in the shape of LXB, who have been willing to listen to what the local people need and act upon their concerns. All in all, this project has already brought a lot of excitement and anticipation to the town, and Rushton Town Council urges the inspector to continue those aspirations by approving the plans and creating a new part of Rushton for us all to enjoy. Let's test the true meaning of localism. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Adrian House. I'm chairman of Rushton and High and Ferris Chamber of Trade. When I first heard about Rushton Lakes, my thoughts were that this could cause the end of the high street as I know it. I have lived in the town all my life. Indeed, I have fond memories of, of my late teens, of many good evenings spent at the ski club, with its beautiful surroundings, lovely restaurant and disco, with no complaints from any neighbours. So having spent over 40 years of my working life in the high street, I think I can speak with some authority, as I have witnessed more than most the changing shopping habits of the local population. The most striking aspect for me, representing Rosenheim Chamber of Trade, is the lack of investment in the town following the demise of our main industry, the shoe industry. The vast majority of people worked and shopped locally. But with jobs scarce, more and more people just live here and go out of town for everything else. Of course, supermarkets now sell a vast range of products along with the internet shopping have caused a significant downward effect on all high street retailing. Most other towns have had the local authorities instigate the redevelopment of small shop units into larger units so that bigger national retailers are looking for. But we've been missed out. This area of the town has been left untouched for far too long and this development will bring a major and much needed boost to the profile of the town in so many ways and will be a catalyst for more jobs, more visitors and more investment. It will also greatly reduce the need for local people to go anywhere else. We're also promised a town centre manager if this proposal goes ahead. Again, is it a vital role which will be able to help the town centre businesses focus on working together to promote their special offers and services that the big retailers cannot match? as well as ensuring our presence at the lakes to inform visitors of what is available in the town centre. The main threat to town centre businesses that we currently face is from the internet, not from the retail part of this development, which I believe will only have a minimal effect on trade. Our strength must be in the ability to adapt our businesses to what our growing number of customers want in 2013. All of my customers say to me that Rushton Lakes will enhance the town with a superb leisure facility for local people and visitors alike for years to come and cannot understand why people in other towns are interfering in our future plans when there is nothing like this near us. So I urge you, Mr Stevens, to recommend that this proposal goes ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, I am uh, the Reverend Philip Evans, and I'm the vicar of Whitefriars Church in Rushton, which is a Church of England parish. And this evening I'm representing the Rushton and Higham Council of Churches. Uh, the council resolved unanimously at its meeting on the 7th of May 2013 to ask me to attend this inquiry on its behalf and to express its full support for the <coughs> Rushton Lakes development. The Russian and Ohio Council of Churches comprises representatives from every single Christian church in the towns of Russian and Ohio, some 12 in all, from all the main denominations. Together we have perhaps 1,500 members and many hundreds more adherents and supporters in the community. I shall say it before others do, uh, it is striking, arguably uh, unusual, for all churches to speak with such unanimity on a local issue. Uh, we want 
local, uh, the local Rushton Lakes development to go ahead. The area needs the development, and it's both right uh, and just for our local economy to be helped to grow in this way. My own Church of Whitefriars is, through our community youth project, Access All Areas, the largest provider of youth work in the district, both within the church and out in the community, serving all, uh, regardless of belief. I therefore have a passion to see young people given every chance to enjoy life in all its fullness and to be given fair and equal opportunities. I serve personally as the Vice Chair of Governors at the Rushton Community College and as Vice Chair of Governors at the Whitefriars Junior School, a community school in Rushton. I've been a governor at both these schools over a period of some eight years and I'm therefore in touch with children and young people from the ages of 7 to 18 on a daily basis. Uh, the young people of our community need both the facilities and the job opportunities that Rushton Lakes will provide. The most up-to-date figures that I could find for youth unemployment on the Northamptonshire Observatory website <laughs> as of June just last year show that a staggering 46.6% of 16 to 19 year olds in East Northamptonshire are unemployed, compared with just 29.4% for Northampton and 25.1% for the county as a whole. Personally, I am myself a father of a 19 year old just completed training at Moulton College, and I'm acutely aware of the imbalance of work, supply and demand in our local labour market. Rushton Lakes will provide much needed entry level and other employment opportunities in an area which is disadvantaged in comparison with other Northamptonshire towns. I live and work in this community, meeting and serving people of all backgrounds, all ages, persuasions and beliefs in every social category. Everywhere locally, I hear of nothing but enthusiasm for the Rushton Lakes, an extraordinary depth and range of local support. This town has suffered many social and economic blows in recent decades and has risked losing, dare I say it, a part of its soul. And this development would play a key part in restoring local pride and confidence and hope. Thank you. <laughs>